What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. So today's title, five tips on how to change as a person. Let's get into it. Number one, change your environment. Sometimes it's hard to change as a person because the environment of people you keep around. For example, you got people over here in this corner, they smoking, drinking, doing whatever they can. But then you got people in the other corner reminding you about your past and the things that you have done that you're trying to get over. So it's important that we change our environment because if we continue to remain in that space, it'll be hard to move on. You'll be stuck in your past. Also, sometimes it's not even the environment. It's the mentality that you might have. For example, if you move somewhere else, don't bring your environment mentally. You got to change with the seasons. You got to change with the newness of life. Don't be stuck in the past. Continue to move forward by keeping your focus on Lord Jesus, because when you become a part of the body of Christ, that's what begins to change your mentality. And also, you'll become a better person in the process. Number two, find new hobbies. Now, finding new hobbies can be difficult at times because that requires us to break a routine, something that we do on the regular. So that's why we must challenge ourselves to find something new to do, because when you challenge yourself, it will create a new pattern, something that's going to lead to good instead of bad. Now, what we do on our spare time is one of the most important things as a believer that we should pay attention to, because that's where we get in trouble. At. There's things that's attached to our identity that must be broken. See. A good hobby is something that you can do that doesn't goes against the will of God. We can cook, draw pictures, make music, or make content and put it on YouTube or something like that. But if it's something that's within that hobby that can potentially destroy your relationship with the Heavenly Father, you must let it go. That's why we got to find new identity, though, through Christ. Because there's things that's become a bad habit. And that's the habit that we're trying to break. So we got to be careful what we do on our spare time, because if we don't manage our freedom. We're going to fall for anything. So that's why if you're trying to find new hobbies, Talk to the Heavenly Father about it first, because he's going to give you the discernment to be able to judge whether it's good or bad. So just pay attention. Number three, study. Now, if you anything like me, it's hard to get in that rhythm of studying. I don't like to just sit down and study, 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 study. <laughs> but it's very important. If you hope to become a better person, we must read the word of God. We must sit down and pay attention to what the Heavenly Father is trying to teach us, because the more you know, the easier it becomes to identify when the enemy is trying to deceive you. See, people perish because of lack of knowledge. So we got to understand the enemy we face and the God we serve. Because if we don't understand those two, that's how people become lukewarm. See, in order to successfully walk this path of righteousness, we got to understand who Lord Jesus is. We got to pay attention to his ways. And within that studying, we must fast because that's how we're going to grow stronger spiritually. So we got to get into that word. We got to study, y'all. And also, when you know the Heavenly Father for yourself, by studying, when you get on YouTube or something like that, or maybe even Instagram or something, it'll help you discern who's real with the gospel. If, if you are looking at gospel content or who's fake with the gospel. So we got to get into that word if we hope to change as a person. We got to feed the spirit. The word of God is nourishment for our soul. And without it, 
We won't survive in this world. Because one thing you got to understand, the enemy knows the word of God too. That's why he's able to manipulate people and cause them to fall off the path of righteousness. Because the enemy knows exactly what to say. And he will discover your weaknesses. But see, there's no weakness in the word of God. That's why God is able to become our strength when we feel weak. See, he becomes our strength when we allow his word to be nourishment for our souls. So it's very important that we study. We got to know the word of God, especially in this day and time. Because it's a lot of wickedness going on. There's spiritual wickedness in high places. Rulers of the darkness in this world. So that's why we must study. Number four, give it to God. Sometimes it's hard to change as a person because we try to take on our own battles. We try to take matters into our own hands. And the more we do that, the worse the situation gets. See, when you give it to God, he will fight your battles. And I know a lot of people say this. And the reason why, because it's the truth. I've seen times when I took matters into my own hands. And it just put me in an even darker place. But the more you develop your relationship with the Heavenly Father, you realize he has his arms wide open. He wants you to come to him with every problem that you face. That's why it's so important to pray without ceasing. We got to get to a place where we trust the Heavenly Father with our pain. Because I promise you, he will fight your battles the moment you give it to him. That's why Lord Jesus laid his life down. That's why he became sin so that we may be called back to the righteousness of God. See, there's power when you give it to the Heavenly Father. We gain access to that power the moment we continue to keep our focus on Lord Jesus and give it to God. Sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes we may have been through so much that it's hard to trust. But if you continue to allow Lord Jesus to be in your heart, to be in your mind, to be in your soul as your Lord and personal Savior. If you allow him to become Lord over your thoughts, he will lead you to freedom. He will help you understand by the Holy Ghost. He will help you understand. I will fight your battles. Give it to me. That's what Lord Jesus is saying. See, he taught us that we won't stay in that tomb. Whoever believes shall rise. Whoever believes shall rise. Because we're called to the glory of God through Lord Jesus. So whatever you're facing today, give it to God. And I promise you, you will change as a person the more you do that. Because when we try to fight our own battles, that can potentially lead you in a dark place because you might do things that you regret later on because that's not you anymore. Now you are a part of the body of Christ. So give it to God so he can bring you out of that dark place into the marvelous light of Lord Jesus. Number five, focus on the present moment. You're not your past anymore. So it's time to stop looking back at something that you're no longer a part of. See, God is setting you apart. God is pushing you forward. He's creating a better future for us through Lord Jesus. So we don't have to look back anymore. And that's why at the beginning of this video, I said you got to change your environment. See, the main thing that we must change is our mentality. Our mentality is the environment. So if we change our mentality, 
That's how we become a light in a dark place. Because sometimes the Heavenly Father may send you back in order to help someone else become saved and delivered from the things that keep them stuck. See, when the Heavenly Father start working on you, it's going to affect those around you as well. But we got to learn how to live in the present moment. Because the Heavenly Father said, don't even think of tomorrow. He already know what we are in need of. What we do in the current moment is what changed lives. Whether it be for the good or for the bad. But if we manage our freedom so that we better serve the Heavenly Father, guess what? Whatever you may have went through in the past, God will cause it to work in your favor. It's going to become your testimony. And he's going to use that so other people can be delivered. That's why we got to focus on the present moment. See, when you focus on the present moment, how to do that and it becomes more effective is when we focus on Lord Jesus. See, Lord Jesus will never leave nor forsake you. That means he's always there. He's always present. So we just got to remember who we following, and that's Lord Jesus. He already did away with our past when he laid his life down and was on the cross. Everyone was sinners until they came to Lord Jesus. So we got to continue to live in the present moment. Take one step at a time. Because it's going to be days when we might make a wrong decision. We ain't perfect, but through Lord Jesus, we are. You're not your past. And the Heavenly Father is creating a better future for us through Lord Jesus. So live in the present moment. Because the decisions you make now can either create a better future or make your circumstances worse. That's why we always got to be mindful of the ways of Lord Jesus. Because that's what's going to lead us to freedom. Don't put yourself in bondage because you're allowing things to influence you in a bad way. Overcome that by pursuing after God and all his righteousness. It's not an easy task to do, but it's possible because with man, it is impossible. But with God, all things become possible according to his will. These are five tips on how to change as a person. I pray this bless you in Jesus name. Amen.